What is up guys, welcome back to another vlog. Here we got some Naruto. Hell yeah, nigga. Naruto, and today we're gonna be going to Moro Leon and catch, catch another film, movie. I, think, I, don't, I honestly don't know which one we're gonna watch, but I gotta unbox some JDM cars for you guys. Stick around. First up, how freaking long does it take me to open this? This is some hard cardboard paper right here. First, second, or third. Where would you guys rank this? RX-7. Pretty nice, RX-7. Next up, STI from the 90s. This one came out really easy. Really, really nice. CRX. We got the CRX. And last but not least, we got the Skyline GTR. Super dope. Here we go. Skyline. Really, really nice. All JDM. All copped in Mexico. If you know, you know. CRX gang, Skyline gang, everything, rotaries, we got everything right here. We're gonna feed our dog some bread. Check this out, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> They're eating bread, honey. This is bread. Oh, this is bread right here, fool. What? Ooh, looky, looky. They're eating bread, what? That's sweet bread, Mexican bread. Yes, sir. Good for your health. Now it's time for the ham. Mmm, yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> so we got our JDM truck right here. Everything manual. Down to the locks. Down to the transmission. Everything JDM. No rev. Stock. What is up guys, we're in Purwandito right now. We're actually gonna eat. Uh, it's around five in the evening, but three o'clock in the US. And check out this really nice restaurant. We get a view of like games and a lot of other stuff. Apparently, this is even like a little zoo. It's so crazy. Right here we got zip lining over here. Interesting, interesting at a restaurant. Really nice. And check out the view. We've been served. Pretty good. Looks good. And we got french fries. Coca Cola Mexico. Specifically Mexico, look. Specifically Coca Cola Mexico. Mission accomplished. We just ate and it's getting kind of dark now so that gives you an idea of how much they like pretty much take to take to serve you but i mean it's worth it at the end of the day it's a small company you know it's mexico all right guys so now we're at a fair it's pretty crazy what you could do in mexico like uh like you could be at a restaurant spend like an hour and a half let's say just eating and whatnot and then you could come experience something like this like a lot of merchants just selling stuff basically that's all it, all it is they have little games that you could win prizes off of which is pretty interesting in my opinion just take a look at the chinese speakers right here a lot of selection you know those little radios that everyone has all ch chinese made well worth it it's a good experience honestly a lot of plastic toys just a lot of plastic you know, at the end of the day, I, I don't know how long this hurts gonna last, so... Everyone's dying one day, I'm just... I'm just doing my thing. Sorry I didn't get to record too much at the fair, but like I was telling you guys, there's a lot to look... Whenever you come to Mexico, basically, like like I said, we were at a um, fair, and now we're like at a plaza. plaza. It is a pretty much downtown of the city you know you get a pretty nice view over here uh, they actually close down the streets just to 
just to have the people hang out. There's a lot of lights, as you can tell from the background. There is so much to look for. You have a beautiful statue, basically. It's not necessarily a statue, but I mean, it, it's pretty good, you know? We even got street dogs right here. It's real, it's, it's not fake, it's a real dog. And these are street dogs. Elephant. Check out the lights, pretty pretty, right? Pretty. <laughs> and we got the Christmas tree back here. Always a nice touch, definitely always a nice touch. One thing that needs to be addressed about Mexico is the corruption of police. Like, I'll take what you know about a crooked cop and just tell you the facts. You just need it, you need to come see it in Mexico. You don't know anything about a crooked cop until you come here, ladies and gentlemen. You could go to jail because you're so drunk out in public and then just pay bail out next morning. Like nothing happened, man. It happened to me last year, but I did not have a good camera to, to document such thing. But I'm telling you guys, police here are brutal. I'm talking brutal. It's just personal relations, man. Like they all they want is money, man. That's. That's it, I'll give you a cut, let me go. I wanna wish you guys a happy new year. Right now I'm about to walk into Purbandiro's church. Give thanks to the Lord for this year. I'll catch you when I'm out. Speaking of the downtown area, you also have a beautiful church in the back. Uh, I think it's really convenient that you have like a church as well as food. Uh, pretty much just something to do, which is what you need, honestly, you need something to distract yourself from whatever you're going through and whatnot. And I find this a really great place. I find going on vacation a really fun thing to do. You can make it a habit, you just have to work for it, but you know, it's pretty much a part of if you want to be happy or not, right? So I consider this, okay, I shouldn't be vlogging while crossing the road, but Safety first, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys had a happy New Year's and a great Christmas. Happy holidays from Omar Ramos. We got a lot of food on this street because street food rules, man. Why not, man? It's all about tacos here in Mexico, so now we're gonna go get some. Yo, yo I don't know if you guys want to rate this like a five-star restaurant because they're basically making the food in front of you. That's pretty much what happens in any other like what fancy restaurant. But obviously this is Mexico and as you guys saw the meat's being cooked right in front of your eyes and it tastes really good. So we are heading home, actually in the back of a truck. Totally against the law in the United States, but this is Mexico and we could do it. The police don't care, like I said, you know, they're just crooked cops. If they see you in the back of the truck, they won't even tell you nothing. They won't even pull you over. They won't do anything, but there's no light anymore, guys. So my bad. I'll just probably cut to the video once I get back home and I'll show you guys what's available down home. All right guys, so we are back home. Check out this analog camera. Super nice, vintage. This one doesn't work, but my cousin actually has like one Canon and I forgot what the other brand was, but this is just a Petri, you know. Simple analog film, if you know what I mean. Anyways, we're gonna wrap up this quick little vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please drop a like if you enjoyed it. If you didn't, drop a dislike. I'll catch you guys in my next video. It's been fun making content in Mexico and I just want to go travel. You see the cracks on the wall? Yeah, that's how bad it is here. So, catch you guys in the next one. Peace.